All right, here she is. It's 48 degrees and the wind's been blowing 25 miles an hour all day. There's that toolbox. Looks like it's in decent shape. I was wrong about the seat. It does not have armrest. We'll turn this key right here. That oil pressure light comes on. I'm not gonna hit the choke or anything. Huh. She runs pretty good, don't she? It'll take a two or three minutes to warm up before we can rev it up. See that muffler sticking out right there. See underneath. I don't believe there's anything leaking on the ground. Now that ain't saying something didn't leak before. This tractor was parked here. See if I operate that lift without choking it down. Yep. No big deal with that. We'll do that again. You can see the tread on these tires. It's good. Well, I said there was no dry rot, but there is a little bit of cracking right in there. Nothing that would keep you from using it for five or ten more years. All right, let's see if she'll rev up. I'm going to ease into the throttle. All right. Here's all the gauges. Apparently, it's only got a temperature gauge and an amp gauge. I don't see any more. I don't know what that RPM is, but it's running good. cutting out I was talking about so I'd slow it down yes that jet is probably in there that jet in there is probably stopped up in the carburetor First thing to do is drain this out right here. I don't know. Well, there she is. Looks like she could use a good bath. That's about as slow as it'll idle, which is about 300 RPM. Runs like a Cadillac. <laughs>